I think we need to learn from regional economic commissions that have already started to do this, whether it's ECOWAS uh, or, or COMESA uh, or SADAC. We, we, look, we look before we leap. Before we sign any agreement, it is very important for us to know the pros and cons, the costs and benefits. We should be setting clear targets around cost competitiveness, around the production, the increase of increased productivity of production in those areas, uh, seed, fertilizer, the transport costs uh, to get it to the urban areas. The government need actually to accept that uh, uh, predominance of uh, regional inst institutions, some of the procedures and rules and policies that we've been able to harmonize. One, let us not set up institutions for their own sake. Two, we don't need new agreements, new arrangements. If Africa stopped, if all our regional communities stopped and just implemented the agreements that we have already reached, Africa would be uh, transformed. Um, regional integration should be a culture, should be a way of life, but we need to hold each other transparent, accountable and responsible. We should approach economic integration as a permanent function. It's not a once-off. Um, we, we negotiate trade agreements, um, you know, towards global economic powers. So I think for Africa, uh, as a whole, it's really important to speak as one voice in a large block representing uh, 1.3 billion people as a market instead of going one by one. For the case of Rwanda, it would only be 12 million. Uh, if we could launch regional block visas, at the very least, if we cannot give visa, if we stick with visa at departure, let us at least make it more simpler to obtain visas by at least moving on e-visas and using technology to facilitate that process. I think it's best if we create a conducive environment for a better agriculture to thrive in Africa. To, to enhance intra-commercial or intra-Africa trade, I think we really must uh, increase production and value addition. Uh, so I think in terms of how to increase production, we will have to rely on raising productivity per unit of land. That should be the, our main priority. We have uh, government measures that are meant to increase production productivity, but that has been undermined by other policy measures that limits cross-border trade. So there is a need for a comprehensive national uh, trade policy at the national level. There are three key things that are missing when it comes to women-led businesses. The first is that they are still predominantly in the informal sector. The second thing is that there's a education or a literacy gap even in trying to deal with the financing and the formalization of their businesses and the third thing is that they lack a lot of financial support but UN Women is doing an incredible amount on it. 